You're watching BG24 News live from the 1998 BGSU Dance Marathon. And good afternoon, everyone. You're looking at a live picture of the Bowling Green State University 1998 Dance Marathon at the Student Rec Center. And I'm Dan Bobbins. I'm standing by here live with Blair Miller. We were out here yesterday. We're out here again today. We are out here for four hours from last night, or again, we're going to bring you live coverage starting now until 6.30. They, now, the dancers just started their 28 hours. 28 hours. These dancers have now been out there. Unbelievable. For 28 straight hours, they've been on their feet. They've been dancing. They've been moving around. Unbelievable. They made it it's through all, the night. I think everybody they made it through the night. They made it through the night. They saw the sun rise this morning, which I know is uh, is always an exciting scene when you're out there dancing. Yeah, on the I know. Run. When we got here today, uh, you walk in, it was kind of a different attitude. It was a uh, it was, it was a different attitude than when we were there They're, last they're night. a little tired. They're a little tired. tired out there. But hey, they're going to get their second or their third win. How many wins do you think they've had by now? Maybe Four or ten. five, probably, yeah. I'm not sure. But they're, uh, they've been doing a great job today. What they're doing, if you're not sure of it, they're raising money for the Children's Miracle Network. We have about 32 families here today that um, have children who have illnesses that could be terminal. And so um, people raising money. Last year they raised nearly $103,000. Break that record today. And as you can hear in the background of the song, If I Had a Million Dollars, that one of the theme songs uh, this year. And certainly, boy, I wish these organizations could raise a uh, million dollars. But I'll tell you what, even if even a dance marathon raised one dollar, I think they'd still consider it a success. Just that's getting the awareness out there. Just really getting the amazing. awareness that. That's one thing we've been hearing from all the staff mm -hmm. here is that if we raise ten dollars, we'll be happy. And, that's um, right. That is really amazing. And I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think I think ten dollars was eclipsed after the first probably couple of minutes. So. So and you're wondering how you can help? Well, that number's at the bottom of your screen now. Go ahead and give Dance Marathon a call. That phone number, 372-0200. If you want to skip $5 or $10. I know we had a lot of people call last night, and uh, we're hoping we get a lot of people calling today. So I'm really You're, you're going to be hearing that number a lot. I can guarantee you we'll be drilling that phone number into your head. So saying that you forgot the number is no excuse. If we see it tomorrow and you tell us, well, we didn't know what the number was, we're not going to buy that. We're not going to buy that. The number's 372-0200. We've got it memorized. And, and hopefully you've had a chance to um, maybe come out here. If not, um, it's not too late. We still have four hours, and um, we're going to be going until 6.30. The closing ceremonies actually end at 6 o'clock, and that's when we'll know how much money has been raised. So it's really an exciting time right now because they're wondering, we're so close. The dancers really, they're starting to lose the whole sense of time completely now. And in they, case you didn't know, the dancers are not exactly aware of the time. They're not allowed to wear watches. The clocks in this building here are all covered up, so they had no idea. They have no idea right now what time it is. You know, and speaking of time, I know at 9 a.m. we had our cameras rolling here, and uh, we got a chance to talk to some of the dancers to see how they're doing. Let's take a listen. You know, you're doing it for the kids. You want to go home and go to bed so bad. You can't feel your legs. And, you know, the bands are going and there's activities, but it's an emotional status. And you just, you know, you got to just think it's for the kids. That's why you're here. This is a, this is a, a DD. This is the person we're dancing for. That's one of the people you're dancing for. Yeah. Does that inspire you to keep going at these moments where you're... Well, I get reminded of it when I'm, like, laying down on tables and resting. They say, you know, look at it. So, yeah, I guess it helps a little bit. It does. It's, it's nice to see your smiling face there. Body is just, you're wiped of energy. Uh, the only thing that you run on is the little bit of adrenaline that you can pump out at the last minute. Everything, your body is just spent. Uh, everything aches, everything's sore. And the only thing you can think about is going back to sleep. Are really excited to get to go to sleep, but they're not gonna get a chance to do that till about 6:30, and they're only about four hours away. I know the I'll excitement is growing. Once they do go to sleep, though, I'd imagine it's gonna be a long sleep, a hibernation. If uh, teachers are watching, don't expect your dancers to be there. There's about 176 dancers oh, total. Man. Heck, I may even say I'm not going. <laughs> but I, you know, I think all the professors and teachers out there will understand because it is such a worthy cause, and they've been working so hard all weekend here. They do deserve a rest once it's oh, all Oh, they over. do. The slogan that you may have, if you've been here, they're wearing necklaces that says "Doing it for the kids." And that's exactly what they're doing it for. And uh, that's the theme that's been going around. I know we were talking to one of the kids just earlier. We'll try to get him on here a little bit later. And um, they're just adorable kids. And uh, if you really want to see what this is about, come on out here and just check it out. And you'll see the kids. You'll see 176 dancers and over 300 morales. And 
with some of those dancers is our own Melissa Pierce and Chris Stipes. I know they're going to be covering that today. Let's. How you guys doing? I see you got Betsy and Amy there, huh? Hello once again. You guys are looking nice and chipper this morning. I'm afraid these two right here had a rough night, though. <laughs> I'm joined here with Amy and Betsy. What was the hardest part of your night last night? Probably around the early morning when everybody left, all your friends left, you had nobody to really brow you up, so you kind of just walked around the whole building hoping that your feet would stop hurting and the pain in your legs would go away. The hardest part for me was right after breakfast. We ate so early that the sun hadn't even came up yet and we were waiting for the sun forever. That was the worst part. What parts of your bodies hurt the most? Right now, the heel of my foot and the calf of my legs are the worst right now. My heels and my toes. I can't wait to go to bed. How's your attitude been? I'm sure it's been up and down all night. Well, I'll have spurts. At points, I'll just be dancing all the time, and then the next thing, I'll be rock bottom, and I'll be walking real slow. The only thing that keeps me going is the kids. The kids keep coming up and dancing with me, and I just have the best time with them. Yeah, the kids definitely make this worthwhile. Um, what's kept me going is just seeing everyone coming back. It was so dead this morning, and then, you know, when people start coming in and their families, it's making it worthwhile. It's for a good cause. Do you guys regret doing this at all yet? Do you guys regret doing this at all yet? Oh, no, not at all. It's been the best experience I've ever yeah. had. Soros, but best. Well, good luck, you guys. It's almost over. Don't worry. And we will have more live reports from here, and Chris Dives will join me with some help. Back to you guys up there. Betsy, Amy, thank you so much. You know, the most exciting up. hours are to come. They only have four hours left, like we said. And uh, this is where the closing ceremonies are going to start to begin. And we're going to bring you that live. And one of the activities going on right now is the Big Creek Man. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. They're on the main stage. A lot of entertainment's been going on there. Great entertainment all weekend long so far. Let's see if we can take a look uh, at that band. I know. Out. There's some people dancing there. They're dancing to the music. Just great, great music been played all weekend long. Unbelievable. Some of these local bands that have been out here. A lot of talent in the area. This is the Big Creek Man. I think it's a local band. This is definitely, definitely. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, I gotta say hi to Aaron Bright's parents are here, and so are my parents. And that's How about a round of applause for driving sound up today? pretty good today. They sound real good at midday. And, um, we're gonna get ready to take a break right now, but we're gonna, when we return, we're gonna talk to one man that gave up more than just his time. You might not recognize him when we come back. Stay, Stay with us. Hello, Austin. 